Hi everyone, a customer recently reached out to me with a problem where they were finding in their expense form, people that were filling out the form were often putting uh, in their other activities, they're putting a time and forgetting, forgetting to put an activity type in. And so what happened was they were submitting their expenses, they were putting time to an activity and the expense approver had no idea what that time was going to. Now, I can understand how this problem could occur because if they're in the repeating section, they're clicking here and if they said required, it means that they always have to have other activities, but sometimes you may not have other activities. So it's not always mandatory or required. So you turn that back off again, you're thinking, well, how do I, if they put time in here, how do I make activity type required? Now it's relatively straightforward if you know how. If you come to rules and you say add new rule, this section is where that rule applies to. It can apply to the form level or within the repeating section row. So if we've got applies to form, and I just give the rule a name, then it's going to give me the controls that are on the form but not inside the repeating section. If I change this to activity details, which is our repeating section, it then actually shows me the form controls but also the controls within the repeating section. So then I'm gonna say if activity time is filled, then activity type is required yes, else activity type required no. So just to make sure that if it's not filled, they don't need to put any detail in. So once we go and create the rule, go to preview, so pressing submit, it would just go through, no problem. However, if I was to come in here and put an activity type um, time of 40, and I click away, it's made this mandatory. Clearing it again, not mandatory. So clicking on 40, going to submit, this will make sure they go and select an activity and make sure they get the right data the first time rather than forgetting a field, submitting it, the expense approver rejecting it, and then the person going and filling out a second time. So essentially it's taken twice as much time just to get that one expense approved. So realistically we want to make sure that we're collecting the right data the first time and it goes to the expense approver. So hopefully you're aware of how repeating section um, rules now work um, and let me know in the comments if you've got any other questions. Cheers.